don't have time or money for a gym and various fitness equipment, but want to be in a good shape? Here is a solution for you. In this video, I'll show you the five best bodyweight exercises that will transform your body just in two weeks. The fifth exercise is a game changer. So, watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Exercise number one, jumping jack. Jumping jacks are a great aerobic exercise that can help burn fat and strengthen a lot of muscle. Jumping jacks help develop coordination, improve a sense of balance, and make your body more flexible and fit. This exercise primarily targets the gluteal muscles, hip flexors, and quadriceps. They bear the main burden. In addition, the abdominal muscles, back muscles, and the muscles of the back of the thigh also work. Swinging your arms engages the deltoid muscles. Jumping jacks have minimal impact on ligaments and joints. Unlike, for example, running, the knees in this exercise don't experience heavy load. Jumping jacks are effective for warming up both the upper and lower body. Thanks to them, the heart rate increases, the body warms up, and the muscles and joints of the limbs prepare for the upcoming serious load. Jumping jacks help develop endurance, which allows you to withstand longer and more intense loads in the future. When performing the exercise, blood circulation increases, blood vessels and the heart become more resilient. Jumping jack is an effective cardio workout that can burn a lot of calories and get rid of excess weight. By doing jumping jacks, you can burn up to 100 kilocalories in 10 minutes. Jumping jack is distinguished by its simplicity of execution technique and the ability to control the level of load. By increasing the frequency of jumps, you, accordingly, set a greater load and vice versa. It is ideal for both experienced and beginner athletes. Let's move on to the proper jumping jack technique. Stand straight, feet together, arms extended along the body, palms open. This is the starting position. Next, in a quick movement, you need to bend your knees and jump. During the jump, the legs are spread to the sides. Simultaneously with the legs, the arms are spread to the sides and converge above the head. When landing on your feet, your hands are connected above your head. Using a reverse jump and bringing your arms towards your body, return to the starting position. Every time your feet touch the floor, your knees should bend slightly. This is necessary to reduce the shock load. Exercise number two, squat. The body weight squat is a compound exercise that works a large number of muscles and also strengthens them. During squats, the quadriceps, anterior, posterior, and inner thighs, gluteal muscles, PSO's muscles, back muscles, as well as the soleus and calf muscles work. When you strengthen your lower body muscles, you are better able to perform full body movements, while maintaining proper form, balance, mobility, and posture. Additionally, incorporating squats into your workout routine also helps strengthen your tendons, ligaments, and bones, which can help reduce your risk of injury. Squats burn a lot of calories. For example, according to Harvard Medical School, a 150-pound person can burn about 220 kilocalories by doing squats for 30 minutes. Squats are good for strengthening the cardiovascular system. Performing squats requires increased work of the cardiovascular system, which can help strengthen it. In addition, the undeniable advantage of bodyweight squats is the minimal risk of injury. Let's move on to the squat proper technique. Classic squats can be done with your arms extended forward or with your hands clasped in front of your chest. The second method is more convenient because you don't need to monitor the height of your arms. Stand up straight with your back straight. Bring your shoulder blades together and place your feet slightly wider than your hips. Inhale, tighten your abdominal and back muscles and begin to lower yourself. In this case, the hips need to be pulled back. Perform a squat to the bottom point. The depth of the squat should be such that the heels don't come off the floor and the back can remain straight. The knees and feet should be in line during movement. After exhaling, begin to rise from the bottom point to the starting position. Exercise number three, burpee. 
Burpee is a versatile and at the same time complex exercise that works many major muscle groups. If you're looking for a way to build strength and endurance, burn as many calories as possible, and improve your cardiovascular health, then this exercise is perfect for you. When performing burpees, the quadriceps, biceps, pectoral and gluteal muscles, abdominal muscles, back and shoulder muscles are involved. This is a complex movement during which the whole body works. You need to go down to the ground and jump up back. To do this, almost every muscle in your body needs to contract. By doing burpees regularly, you can strengthen your spine, prevent crooked posture and back pain, and also relieve stress, and get rid of nervous tension. As a bonus, you will get an excellent mood. Performing burpees helps strengthen the cardiovascular system, increase endurance, tone muscles, develop strength, improve coordination and respiratory function, and effectively accelerate metabolism. Burpees help prepare joints and ligaments for subsequent stress. But the main advantage is the active burning of calories, which helps you lose weight and stay in shape without exhausting diets. Burpees burn up to 10 kilocalories per minute. The technique for performing burpees is as follows. Place your feet shoulder width apart, then squat down and place your palms on the floor. From this position, you need to get into a plank position. It is important to keep your body straight. Next, lower your body to the floor, bending your elbows, and do a push-up. Bring your feet back to your hands, jump up, and clap your hands overhead. Complete all elements clearly and completely. Control your breath. With such fast movements, it often gets lost. Exercise number 4. Push-up. Push-up is one of the top strength exercises with your own body weight. Many people do this exercise every morning to keep their muscles toned. As a compound exercise, push-ups work many different muscles to varying degrees, including triceps, deltoids, pectoralis major and minor, serratus anterior, abdominals, and legs, glutes, hamstrings, quads. Push-ups help strengthen the elbow and shoulder joints, which, in turn, allow you to perform more complex types of exercise by changing the angle of the torso relative to the horizontal plane. Push-ups also help increase blood flow in the upper part of the body, which in turn cleanses blood vessels and promotes healthy joint function. And the risk of damage to muscles, tendons, and joints for those who include push-ups in their workout is less than for those who use only weight-bearing exercises. When performed correctly, push-ups also increase endurance and muscle strength in the upper part of the body. In addition, they strengthen bones. With proper training, they help increase muscle mass and generally have a positive effect on the overall physical condition of the body. Push-ups help improve balance and stability. By maintaining proper posture during regular push-ups, your muscles are constantly working to keep your body in the correct position. There are many variations of push-ups, knuckle push-ups, clapping push-ups, inclined push-ups, and so on. However, we will show a classic push-up technique. Starting position. Lying down, body in a straight line. The arms are extended, the palms are located under the shoulder joints. The gaze is directed to the floor. Feet together. As you inhale, bend your arms and lower yourself. Strive to touch your chest to the floor. Make sure your body is in an even position, tensing your abdominal muscles. As you exhale, straighten your arms and return to the starting position. All movements should be performed under control, without holding your breath. Exercise number 5. Mountain Climber. So, here we come to the fifth exercise, and this is the Mountain Climber. The exercise is based on the plank. Mountain Climber consists of alternately pulling the knees to the chest in a lying position. The Mountain Climber is a truly versatile movement that provides quite a few benefits. If performed correctly, it provides a good cardio workout, burns calories, strengthens the cardiovascular system, and promotes overall strengthening of the body. During the exercise, not only the abdominal muscles are loaded, but also the arms, back, buttocks, thighs, and lower legs. Mountain climber burns a lot of calories. 
Since the mountain climber involves many muscle groups and is performed at a fast pace, you not only pump up your abs, but also burn much more calories than during standard ab crunches or plank. To perform the exercise correctly, you need to lie on the floor and place your hands shoulder width apart. Then place your palms and toes on the floor. Be sure to use a mat or other non-slip surface to prevent your limbs from slipping. Rise up, pushing into the floor. The body should resemble a stretched string. On a deep breath, the knee of one leg is pulled towards the chest. The torso doesn't bend upward and remains in the same position. When the knee touches the top point and maximum tension appears, while exhaling you need to return it to its original position. You don't need to do this too quickly. Then repeat similar actions with the other leg, then alternately. Did you find this video helpful? If so, then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel, links are on the screen right now.